Do you know what? asked Percy. What? grunted Gordon. Do you know what? Silly, said Gordon. Of course I don't know what, if you don't tell me what what is. Sir Topham Hatt says that the work in the yard is too heavy for me. He's getting a bigger engine to help me. Rubbish, said James. Any engine could do it. If you worked more and chattered less, this yard would be a sweeter, a better, and a happier place. Percy went off to fetch some coaches. That stupid old signal, he thought. He was remembering the time he'd misunderstood a signal and gone backwards instead of forwards. No one listens to me now. They think I'm a silly little engine and order me about. I'll show them. I'll show them. But he didn't know how. By the end of the afternoon, he felt tired and unhappy. He brought some coaches to the station. Hello, Percy, said Sir Topham Hatt. You look tired. Yes, sir, I am, sir. I don't know if I'm standing on my dome or on my wheels. You look the right way up to me, laughed Sir Topham Hatt. Cheer up. The new engine is bigger than you and can probably do the work alone. Would you like to help build my new harbor? Thomas and Toby will help, too. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. The new engine arrived. What's your name? asked Sir Topham Hatt. Montague, sir, but I'm usually called Duck. They say I waddle. I don't really, sir, but I like Duck better than Montague. Good. Duck it shall be. Here, Percy, show Duck around. The two engines went off together. Soon they were very busy. James, Gordon, and Henry watched Duck quietly doing his work. He seems a simple sort of engine. We'll have some fun and order him about. Quack, 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 whish! Smoke billowed everywhere. Percy was cross, but Duck took no notice. They'll get tired of it soon. Do they tell you to do things, Percy? Yes, they do, answered Percy. Right, said Duck. We'll soon stop that nonsense. He whispered something. We'll do it later. Sir Topham Hatt was looking forward to hot buttered toast for tea at home. Suddenly, he heard an extraordinary noise. Whee! Bother, he said, and hurried to the yard. Duck and Percy calmly sat on the switches outside the shed, refusing to let the engines in. Gordon, James, and Henry were furious. Stop that noise, bellowed Sir Topham Hatt. They won't let us in, hissed Gordon. Duck, explain this behavior. Beg pardon, sir, but I'm a great Western engine. We do our work without fuss. But begging your pardon, sir, Percy and I would be glad if you would inform these uh, engines that we only take orders from you. Quiet, said Sir Topham Hatt. Percy and Duck, I am pleased with your work today, but not with your behavior tonight. You have caused a disturbance. Gordon, Henry, and James sniggered. As for you, thundered Sir Topham Hatt, you've been worse. You made the disturbance. Duck is quite right. This is my railway, and I give the orders. After Percy went away, Duck was left to manage alone. He did so easily.